<laughs> I'm not saying this to embarrass you at all. Any of, I have enough trouble figuring out what's in my mind, let alone what's in their mind. I have no, the only thing I do, when, when I'm trying to guess what's in their mind by their body language, I'm usually wrong. I know exactly what you mean, Cal. I can never figure out what's going on in their minds. And Lord knows there's a lot of room up there yeah. for stuff to be going on. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the big broadcast. Gupper and the gang on the Red and Blue Review. Going to be talking a little football. Eh, mostly basketball, though, in this one, because it's time to turn the page and time to say hello to Daryl Bird of the Cast Paws. Uh, got a visit from North Carolina coming up. Do indeed have a very huge visit. Fun, fun game in December, there's no doubt about it, because unlike football, you can lose this one and still win a title. So uh, <laughs> that's the good part about it. It's usually where I take have a little fun with U of L, and I can't have fun with the football side because they're going to a bowl game, and Kentucky's not. So how can you pass up the opportunity to talk about the helmets they're wearing in basketball practice? That, that's such a good look. That's a good look. <laughs> From the Louisville Sports Report side of things, this is Howie Lindsay with a take on Planet Blue. Yeah, the rumor is that Louisville basketball players with helmets on could beat Louisville, uh, Kentucky football players with helmets on. <laughs> I know Josh Chichester did it a couple years back. You know. Now, I, I think from Louisville's standpoint, they... Uh, They've got basketball rolling, you know, the 6 and 0 start, got Vander Vanderbilt coming up. So that's going to be a bigger test. And we'll we'll probably find out a lot more about Louisville depending on that Vanderbilt game. Well, let's talk a little basketball and get right into our lightning round. The lightning round on red and blue brought to you by Kentucky Corner. I know you've got Christmas shopping to do. There are Kentucky Corner locations all over the Commonwealth, including Paducah and Clarksville, and on your corner by typing in KentuckyCornerOnline.com. Well, what's hot is the University of Kentucky basketball team, now the number one team in all the land, and Cal says he doesn't want his team to feel a burden of packing around that number one ranking. I said, I want you to understand it is not a burden. It's a badge of honor. That's what this is. And playing here, this is what you're trying to attain. Now, it's not when we want it, but we're there. Now, let's see how we perform. I've been on them a little bit. I've been tough on them. Not in a mean way, but just raising the bar to get them to forget all that other stuff. We're worried about getting better. That's all we're worried about. Forget ranking. For, all that becomes is a bigger target on your back. It's a nice badge of honor, but that badge is a target for someone else. And let's just worry about getting better. We must get better. We're not real good offensively right now. We're not in sync. I've always liked how Calipari approaches a number one ranking. He, the first time was with John Wall and friends in the middle of that first season. He, he called it a badge of honor then and said, you know, the players are embracing it. Most coaches will run away from that and just say, you know, poo-poo it. It doesn't mean a thing. It's silly at this time of the year. It doesn't win you any championships, which is all true. But it was nice to see a coach who embraces it and says, yeah, Badge of honor. Now see what you're going to do with it. And he's right. It, it doesn't matter win or lose. They can easily lose to North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And it's not, it will knock them out of number one for now. But the only number one they're worried about is at the end of the year. What's hot for the University of Louisville is the quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater. Now, Louisville fans, you need to understand, you watch something this year that happens very seldom. A kid right out of high school comes in to college football as a quarterback and leads you to a conference championship. When we were down 17-3, to and I'll just say, uh, we great kick the ball off. I said, just take a knee and let's just get out of here. And Teddy says, hey, what if we get a big return, then what we're going to do? Then I said, we get a return, then we're going to go out there and try to go for it. And, you know, Sonors gets a big return. And then if you watch that throw to uh, Devontae, he lets the ball go. Devontae's not even in the pitcher. He just throws the ball to the middle of the uprights. And here all of a sudden you see Devontae runs in the pitcher and makes the catch. But he made some outstanding throws on, on Saturday. And uh, he did. It's just to uh, watch his poise. I don't know if I've ever been a young man around a player that is so poised as Teddy. And then he has the feet where he, he can escape the pressure. He can feel the pressure. He can get away from the pressure. Throw the ball very well on the run. But it, it is fun just watching him develop and grow. It is a lot of fun watching him grow. He's, he's so effective when he's on the run. Moving him out of the pocket has been the best thing for Louisville's offense. For him to find Devontae Parker streaking across the back of the end zone like that, when Devontae was not even in the picture when he mm -hmm. threw the ball, that, that's a special connection between a, a freshman and a freshman. He's also got that connection with Michael Lee Harris, with Eli Rogers. Those are all freshmen. 
Can you imagine how good those kids are going to be in three years? I mean, Teddy Bridgewater, we're, we're seeing the, the mark of a champion here. And, it, it, you know, those number five jerseys, those are going to sell real well next year. Howie, will we be having this conversation if he had not come to school early to kind of get acclimated to the college game? Great question. I don't think he's even – I think we see Will Stein as a starter all the way through hmm. um, because you, you just can't learn that much stuff in August. Yeah. And so because he came into college early, I mean, he had the opportunity. Who's not hot in the uh, college basketball world right now, at least, is North Carolina. And they're not hot because they lost their number one ranking to a UNLV team last Saturday who played just a little bit hotter. North Carolina was the greatest team in the last 22 years. They lose that game. Now all of a sudden, well, this guy can't do this. This guy, What? They're still one of the best teams in the last 20 years. They lost the game. The other team went nuts made threes, and I'll tell you, with us, if a team comes out and makes 13 or 14 threes, we'll lose. So we better guard the three a little bit better. But we're going to lose that game. North Carolina is still, if not the best team in the, in the country, one of the best teams, one of the top two or three teams. In the yeah, I think this matchup Saturday at Rupp Arena is, is absolutely fascinating. And, and the, there's two things at play. Rupp Arena is going to balance out the fact that North Carolina, in my opinion, is a better team at this point in the season. They are so identical. They're long, tall, extremely athletic. They're good at all five positions. North Carolina guys are all experienced for the most part. Mm -hmm. Four out of five are. UKs are very, very young. So they have the experience edge. UK has the Rupp Arena atmosphere edge, which to me balances out everything. And this game could come down to the, the final shot. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. What's not hot at the University of Louisville are getting hurt so much, basketball players are now wearing helmets. Uh, in fact, if these injuries occur, there's a possibility now that bubble wrap may be become part of the official U L basketball uniform. You know, last year was bad. This year is, is ridiculous. Um, but, um, you know, I'm just, we're not, we're not showing, we don't even talk about injuries. I just keep telling them I've, I've, been, I've seen this for 35 years. Uh, you know, I'm lying. I've never seen it before. Bullet breaks his nose, and he's got a helmet on in practice. We got guys wearing helmets. Uh, what do you call those helmets? Uh, soccer? Or is it go uh, hockey? What, is it? what are those things? I love that clip because, one, he, the, the look of disgust on his face when he says, Bullet's wearing a helmet now. We got helmets in practice. <laughs> and, and, then, and then he goes, you know, what are those helmets? Like, soccer? Uh, hockey, you can tell he's a New Yorker. I mean, they, they know basketball, and that's about you know pro sports. That's about it. But uh, it's good. They they do have these like boxing style looking helmets on, and they're they're wearing extra pads on their legs and, and knees and all that kind of thing in practice. It. I mean, what do you do if you're Louisville? What do you do? You've had so many injuries. You've got to try to figure out something new to do. And so that's what they're doing. They're trying to pad them up, I guess. I think they should do the same thing I do. Hairspray. <laughs> Can't get a thing through there. Believe me, nothing gets through this, if you know what I mean. Hey, what's uh, the buzz that the University of Kentucky has this idea about renovating or replacing Rupp Arena? And Cal says it's, it's as important to remember the low rollers on the top row as it is the high rollers at courtside. Let's make sure we're taking care of Eastern Kentucky, those people upstairs. Don't take away, don't now come back and try to overcharge them. This is important to them. That's where I grew up. Maybe it's also Western Kentucky that they travel here and they go up in those bleachers upstairs. Can't, well, let's take away their seats. No, don't take away their seats. So there's a lot of issues out there that these people have to deal with. Yeah, a lot of issues indeed. And Cal Perry just made it a little tougher on them because if you renovate, you're talking about 100 million versus 300 million for a new one. How do you add suites and not take away seats? Well, yeah. the coach just came out and said, don't do that to the poor little guys. You can't take their seats. So, well, they're in a corner now. So they've got to figure out a way, if they do it, add suites and keep the same amount of seating, work that out. And Cal's also the point of, look, it's not my concern as long as it can still be the gold standard in college basketball, Rupp Arena can't, even if you renovate it, as long as you do it the right way. And his said, everybody else will worry about the suites. My job is to make sure my players Everything they touch inside Rupp Arena is the gold standard for college basketball. That's his only concern. Well, and, and I think uh, one of the things going on in this uh, idea to renovators are talking about building parks and all that. Yeah. Darrell, all the fans want to care about, they don't care about parks, 
They don't really care about parking lots. Just give them a great place to play basketball, mm -hmm. keep my seat prices from going yes, sky high, exactly. and let me see a good product. That's all they care about. Yeah. And wisely, the city of Lexington is using it as, okay, if we build a new arena, we can improve 40 acres and turn mm -hmm. it into a downtown experience. Yeah. Okay, if you can pull that off, good for you. But yeah, at the end of the day, the basketball fan wants a good seat at a decent price inside Rupp Arena. Yeah, they don't care what's outside. Yeah. All right, uh, what's the buzz at Louisville is this BCS mess. Now, remember who you got in, Coach Charlie Strong, two-time national champion, BCS champion at Florida. So he knows what one looks like. So he's asked this week if his Louisville team, this Louisville team, is worthy of BCS consideration. Does this team look like a BCS bowl team? <laughs> I'm going to say this, if, we make it, if we're fortunate enough to make it to a BCS bowl game, we'll have them prepared to go play, but we're probably not just yet ready to go. But if we get there, then it's just like, I think Eric wrote a column, Crawford wrote that column, if you finish last in your class, they still call you a doctor. <laughs> I love that clip. I yeah. love that clip. And, and, you know, they asked, do they look like a BCS team? Well, here they are. Do they? I would say no. Mm -hmm. I would say no. They look like a 7-5 a, a and five team that has a bunch of young kids who are extremely talented, who will be a BCS team in two years. I, I fully believe that. Maybe even next year. Uh, but not yet. Not yet. I just love that response from Charlie because it's such honesty. Yeah. I mean, it, do they look like a BCS? And he just starts laughing. I mean, that's perfect. So the answer would be no. No. <laughs> uh, we love hearing from you on our Facebook uh, fan poll. We had uh, Nancy Hatfield write in about the upcoming uh, Kentucky-North Carolina game. And what she said on Red and Blue Review on Facebook is, I don't think Kentucky is ready for UNC, but we'll get them by the end of the season. And I've got to agree with him, guys. I think if you look at North Carolina, has played Michigan State, South Carolina, UNLV, and Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Kentucky's got Kansas, Penn State, St. John's, and ODU. It looks like North Carolina is a more talented and a more tested team. Mm -hmm. At North Carolina, neutral site, Carolina wins by 10. I don't know what to make of the Rupp Arena factor. I've mm -hmm. seen so many amazing things happen inside that building through all the years I've been doing this. You just cannot count out what that crowd is going to do. You How really we, can. Yeah, I think the Rupp Arena is going to be a big difference there. Yes. North Carolina is a better team, mm -hmm. and they still will be a better team at the end of the season because they'll be even more experienced. But Rupp Arena, I mean, that's tough. We come back, we'll tell you why Cal says the most fascinating number one team to watch right now is not his team, it's a football team. But as we head to the break, Beryl's going to tell us about the latest Cat's Paws issue. Yeah, I do agree. Finally, finally screams out to across the Commonwealth. Kentucky defeated Tennessee in football. That issue is available. Complete details on that, plus tons of basketball and recruiting coverage as well. We are entering the heart of recruiting season, so you want to keep up with all that. 800-641. 3302, we can get a subscription right to your doorstep. Have you driven a Ford lately? Well, stop by Allstate Ford and test drive a new Edge or Explorer. Or visit us online at allstatetrucks.com. Allstate Ford, on the Watterson at Poplar Level Road. I'm attorney Jay Winton, the Louisville fighter. When you get hurt in a car wreck, you need someone to fight the insurance company for you. Call me. I'll come out swinging. The Louisville fighter fights for your medical bills, fights for your lost wages, and he fights to get you paid. You get hurt in a car wreck, you call the Louisville fighter. He fights for you, okay? He fights to win. Call the Louisville fighter. He comes out swinging. Listen, if you've been hurt in a car wreck, let me fight for you. Call me. It's just that easy. Call the Louisville fighter. Call 1-888-FIGHT-16. I'm Teresa Bachman with the exciting new force in the mid-size car market. The new Passat has arrived at Bachman Volkswagen. It's a new force in safety, premium features, and fuel economy. And it's exclusively for everyone at Bachman Volkswagen. The redesigned Passat is premium without a premium price. They're in stock at Bachman Volkswagen, your number one Volkswagen dealer. The force is strong with this one. Bachman makes a difference. Kentucky Corner is giving UK fans a new cheer this season. when you dress big blue this season. Kentucky Corner is the only place to find hot new colors and styles the Big Blue Nation craves. Polka dot. 
Kentucky Corner is in Louisville, Lexington, Ashland, Florence, Etown, Clarksville, Paducah, and with Kentucky Corner Online, there's a Kentucky Corner on your corner. Join the club at Sam Swope Auto Group. When you service a vehicle at any Sam Swope dealership, you automatically become a Service VIP Rewards member. You get member pricing on parts and service, lost key return, and emergency roadside assistance. Plus, you can earn points that qualify you for discounts on your next vehicle purchase, up to $2,500. The best part is becoming a member is free. Become a member today at any Sam Swope dealership. Nobody walks away because everybody saves. The 2012 Bluegrass Golf Tour Card is available now. Play eight great courses for one amazing price. Call 502-964-2121 or go to shop21live.com to get yours now. Hurry, they won't last long. Well, makes a champion brought to you by the home of the champ, the Ali Center. And today, Jenny Conkey says one of the champ's core values is confidence. Muhammad Ali once said, I've never let anyone talk me out of believing in myself. And he didn't. What makes a champion? Confidence. Come learn more at the Ali Center. Going into the Kentucky-Tennessee football game, Matt Roark knew that he was going to be the starting quarterback for the first time since his high school days, yet he calmly predicted that Kentucky was going to beat Tennessee. That uh, is confidence. That I, knew, I knew I was going to be quarterback, and I knew that, um, that my senior class, we were, we were, uh, we were really uh, like focused and knew we were going to do that. But, I mean, it took the whole team, and everybody did their part. So. When that thing ends... To me, the confidence, not, not just Matt Roark, the, the entire staff, the farther we get away from this Tennessee win, I think the more fascinating and incredible it becomes. Mm -hmm. I really do. They took a wide receiver and stuck him at the helm of a 70-year-old offense that nobody runs anymore, and they beat Tennessee with it. And you say, well, the defense did it, and the defense played a huge role. However, they had two 100-yard rushers in this game. Most teams would take that every night out, mm -hmm. no doubt about it. So that's a, they had a decent offensive performance, but to reinvent itself in one week, in three days of practice, the buy-in that they had to have from the staff, the head coach, the staff, the staff that had to convince the kids, hey, this will work, and then for the kids to grow in the confidence in Roark, who played, who really executed it to perfection. You look at the game, it wasn't that exciting. How many mistakes did you see? Very none. few. No turnovers. No, no turnovers, but even minor miscues, there were almost none. Very first drive of the game, they marched down and get a field goal. They had 15 plays. One was a negative yard play. Everything else was positive. Just remarkable what this team and this coaching staff was able to pull off in this game. May never see it again. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, how about this? Learning experience, glass half full, and life lessons. Those are this week's Game Time Storyline. These are learning opportunities, and you can't learn against Popcorn State. You just can't. You can play those games, and you got to fill out your schedule, and, but you need these kind of games. You just don't need 12 of them, and especially when you have a young team. Game time storyline number one is about number one taking on uh, now number five, I think is how far North mm -hmm. Carolina fell on that uh, poll after the loss to UNLV. Now, the game that pits Kentucky against North Carolina may not be a winning experience for the Cats, but it will be a learning experience. All these kind of games and the mistakes we make are learning opportunities for our team and our coaching staff. That's what it becomes. You can't play all these kind of games and put your program at risk. But you need to play these kind of games to figure out where are we before January hits. Uh, and I even told the guys, go do what you think is right. You know how I want you to play. There are things that we haven't talked about. Choose what you think you should do in those situations, and we'll, it's a learning experience. There's just things they don't know, and you can't cover it all until you see it in a game. Uh-oh, we don't know how to play a three-point shooter when he comes off the screen. Well, yeah, you have to know. No, you don't know. And so now we're trying to cover that a little bit. And uh, there's, there's things that will hit us. The U.K. fan base would not agree with me, but U.K. cannot lose this game Saturday. They either beat North Carolina and they feel really good about themselves and they take off from there, 
or they lose and they find out exactly what problems they have. Can Anthony Davis go up against Ty Zeller, an experienced big man in the paint? I don't know. We'll find out. Can Marcus <laughs> Teague handle the pressure that's coming with North Carolina's athleticism? We don't know. They do have the advantage. Terrence Jones, Darius Miller, those guys have been through these types of games, but the young guys, they don't have a clue what they're about to step into. They may think they do. They don't have a clue. If Carolina points out five problems area that need to be fixed, They've got the rest of the year to fix them. North Carolina will do them a favor if they beat them. Granted, you'd rather win the game just for the fun part, but you win either way. Darrell, most of the guys on that North Carolina team are on the same bunch that lost to Kentucky yeah. last year to get to the Final Four. Mm -hmm. Will North Carolina be more amped because those kids had that experience and a lot of the guys on the Kentucky team weren't even at UK when that game was played? A little bit. I think they'll be amped because they've lost their number one ranking. Yeah. And because how much fun is it to beat number one? No, you're going to beat number one. You're going to come into Rupp Arena and yeah. take out number one? Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. That's all you're playing for this time of year. You're learning and you're having a lot of fun with some of these games and this is, this is going to be a dandy. You know, a lot of times we try to put a happy face on bad news and that's really what's going on at the University of Louisville when you talk about all the injuries. We like to say, well, now it's giving other guys playing time, but Rick says, you know, I'm done with that positive spin on bad news. The injuries never help you. I mean, we all, we all would like the glass to be half full, look for the silver lining, but, you know, those, those questions are not reality. You know, you don't, you, don't, you don't want broken noses when a ball hits you in the nose, and you don't want ACLs when you're driving down the lane with no contact. You know, you don't want um, torn um, adductor when you're working out with your dad. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't want these things. It doesn't help you. Um, I mean, you like to think that, but it's just not reality. It hurts you because you can't practice what you need to do. You know, it's interesting because the, the question was innocently asked, Coach, could this possibly help you in the future? It's no! A, it's, a common, <laughs> yeah, it's a common media question. I've asked it before. Other people have asked it. I didn't ask this time. but And, and, and Rick just jumped all over it. Yeah. No, it's not going to help you. Injuries are terrible. You're never going to have to. Uh, it, it's funny to see that kind of reaction. Not funny, but it, it's interesting to see that kind of reaction. It tells me that these injuries have really gotten to him. But he, he's no longer looking at glass half full. Cal says if you want to watch uh, the, the way to handle a number one ranking, don't necessarily watch his basketball team. Watch the LSU football team. I made the distinction with LSU and Arkansas. Anybody watch that football game? You saw those first two scores? Raise your hand if you thought Arkansas is getting these dudes today. There was one group that didn't think that was happening. LSU. They did not think that was happening. Everyone else, the stands, the fit, no one could tell LSU, hey, little, little bump in the road, now let's bury these dudes. That's got to be your mentality, and you've got to be built for that. He's absolutely right. LSU didn't panic. UK cannot panic if things turn bad against North Carolina. And throughout the season, you have to have the confidence you will win eventually. When we come back, you're going to hear something about Rick Pitino's team that you haven't heard, and it's not good news, but how he's full of good news about cardinalsports.com. You got it. It's the best place to, to follow the cards. Football, basketball, recruiting. As Daryl said earlier, recruiting season is really heating up. You need to check out cardinalsports.com. We've got all the recruiting news, uh, updates on all the kids. Uh, this, is, this is Hunter Bowles from down in Glasgow. He's going for a state title this weekend. Uh, Joe Manley's going for a state title this weekend. Ace Wales is going for a state title. It, it's uh, recruiting season is heating up cardinalsports.com. Have you driven a Ford lately? Well, check out Allstate Ford's pre-owned inventory at AllstateTrucks.com. Large selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Also, a nice selection of Ford certified pre-owned vehicles. Allstate Ford, on the Watterson at Poplar Level Road. I'm attorney Jay Winton, the Louisville fighter. When you get hurt in a car wreck, you need someone to fight the insurance company for you. Call me. I'll come out swinging. The Louisville fighter fights for your medical bills, fights for your lost wages, and he fights to get you paid. You get hurt in a car wreck, you call the Louisville fighter. He fights for your money. He fights to win. Call the Louisville fighter. He comes out swinging. Listen, if you've been hurt in a car wreck, let me fight for you. Call me. It's just that easy. Call the Louisville fighter. Call 1-888-FIGHT-16. I'm Teresa Bachman with the exciting new force in the mid-size car market. The new Passat has arrived at Bachman Volkswagen. It's a new force in safety, premium features, and fuel economy. And it's exclusively for everyone at Bachman Volkswagen. The redesigned Passat is premium without a premium price. They're in stock at Bachman Volkswagen, your number one Volkswagen dealer. The force is strong with this one. Bachman makes a difference. 
Kentucky Corner is giving UK fans a new cheer this season. when you dress big blue this season. Kentucky Corner is the only place to find hot new colors and styles the big blue nation craves. Polka dot! Kentucky Corner is in Louisville, Lexington, Ashland, Florence, E-Town, Clarksville, Paducah, and with Kentucky Corner online, there's a Kentucky Corner on your corner. Join the club at Sam Swope Auto Group. When you service a vehicle at any Sam Swope dealership, you automatically become a Service VIP Rewards member. You get member pricing on parts and service, lost key return, and emergency roadside assistance. Plus, you can earn points that qualify you for discounts on your next vehicle purchase, up to $2,500. The best part is becoming a member is free. Become a member today at any Sam Swope dealership. Nobody walks away because everybody saves. The 2012 Bluegrass Golf Tour Card is available now. Play eight great courses for one amazing price. Call 502-964-2121 or go to shop21live.com to get yours now. Hurry, they won't last long. What needs fixing on the Red and Blue Review? Brought to you by Doug Jones Home Improvements. sound as though what's going to get fixed at UK is the coaching staff. Nobody's happy with the seat way of the season, especially us, okay, especially us because of the, the uh, uh, all the hard work and the long hours that we've put in it. Um, you know, we're not happy with the way it went, um, but we're willing to, to, to do whatever we have to do to get it corrected. A little cryptic there, and of course there are always coaching changes. The life of assistant coach is tough. The two to watch, only because their contracts are due up this year, Steve Brown, the co-defensive coordinator, and Chuck Smith, the linebackers coach, and the head of the recruiting part. These may be the first time these words have ever been spoken in media. What needs fixing at the University of Louisville is Rick Pitino's basketball team is out of shape. We ran out of gas in the second half because we haven't practiced our pace, that pace. All we've been trying to do in practice is just execute and stay, out of, stay away from injuries. And we've gotten a little out of shape to play that racehorse type basketball game. Yeah, I guess they're out of shape. I mean, if, if they're out of shape, I, I, I'm way <laughs> out of shape. I, my goodness. But these guys have, you know, less than 10% body fat. I, I, you did see them kind of slow down a little bit against Long Beach State. Well, coming up this weekend on our post-game show, we'll look back on Kentucky's game against North Carolina. And, of course, it's UofL and Vandy on our post-game show coming up on the Red and Blue Review. The Red and Blue Review has been brought to you by PNC Bank, Kentucky Corner, Allstate Ford Truck Sales, and the Muhammad Ali Center. The 2012 Bluegrass Golf Tour Card featuring Chariot Run, Bardstown Country Club at Maywood, Rosewood Country Club, Indian Springs, Cave Valley Golf Resort, the Falls Golf Resort, the Bull, and Stonecrest Golf Course is available now. Get your golf tour card and play eight great courses with cart for one low price. Call 502-964-2121 or go to shop21live.com to get yours now. You can play anytime, but you must get your golf tour card now. I remember the moment clearly. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I live. I realized that moment. When we first saw the damage, these people really needed us. And I was going to make a difference right here in my community. Together with local responders, we cleared trees and collapsed walls. We had to get to the family trap beneath. As a citizen soldier, I made a difference. Be there for your community at NationalGuard.com. Visit Kentucky and savor some of its unique experiences. You'll be surprised by how much your vacation really comes to life. To plan your Kentucky vacation, call today or visit KentuckyTourism.com.